Chauncey as a starter with Phillips out has averaged over 15 a ball game. So he's filled in nicely for the Timberwolves. Tip goes title makes uh, his career in Minnesota here. He's, he's played well. Yeah, and, and, and his career, but he has played well here. Played well as a starter. That shot by Couture off. Minnesota really using this game to, I think, regain their confidence. And, Confidence get back in the playoff mode. The Nuggets probably looking forward to the offseason, even though they've got one more to play. Matchup early, Batur against Nesterovic. Batur really having his I mean, he just jogged in there, and nobody even came close to putting the body on him. Batur got it away quick. Garnett got They get in that running game, cause some turnovers. They can, uh, they can turn on the offense. Another jumper knocked down by Calvert Jane. And uh, Todd Mike Kelling, our director, pointing out that 15 steals over three games is an average fourth quarter. The Nuggets have won games against Minnesota twice in the fourth quarter this year. And Tur got the roll, used the left hand. Well done. At all in the second half of the season. But it's really, it's like the quarterback in football, isn't it, Drew? I mean, if your team starts to slide a little bit, who's going to get the blame? The superstar. That's the way it works. But Tur commits his first foul. That may be the longest stint on the floor this year for Mentor without committing a foul. He went. Mentor had Nesterovich sealed. Posey couldn't get it to him. And now Harvey posting up. Instead, Mentor will shoot the jumper, and Donnell will save it. Like Superman out to the three point line. Mentor, kind of a pressured shot. Now he's going to try to back Nesterovich down. Here at the Pepsi Center tomorrow night. Well, wow. you, you know there was going to be a buzz in the air regardless because it's the playoffs. But now with 21, when he takes the ice, I mean, the roof may blow off of Pepsi Center. That's all that Denver could talk about this week, wasn't it? Seen that way. Anyway. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Cannot wait. Here's Peeler. He's been hot from three point range. That's his third lead now from Minnesota. Lauren Woods on the floor, number three. Big kid, you mentioned the Arizona schools. He just got shoved out of the way by Donnell Harvey. See, there's a perfect example. Bowen trying to get the block on Trent. Trent will go up and throw it down. So much of the NBA draft now is Couture takes one of a handful of three-pointers and knocks it down left naked. Keep it rolling, guys. Yeah. And also probably realize that this game not too meaningful for either team. Serbiak spins, now caught in the paint. Many times will tell you, such a critical part of a ball game is that start of the second half. Three to shoot it for the Nuggets, and that was just like a shot. And you mentioned when he's open, as good as anybody in the league right now. Things in uh, the playoffs tend to be far more physical if the Nuggets turn it over. It'll be interesting to see him number one. He was really a, sort of a cornerstone of this franchise, along with Kevin Garnett. Now, of course, Serbiak has emerged. But when you start to lose ball games, Drew, and that's what Minnesota's done in the second half of this season, everybody starts to be quite 17. You talk to coaches, they still say that the West runs through Los Angeles. with the steal and get Chauncey's question leader. And if they have a problem, they don't need a coach to straighten it out. Kevin Garnett straightens it out. And as a coach, you gotta love that. Kenny Satterfield, two of two. Kostarevich able to save it for Mitchell. Pack, good movement. Real good movement. Harvey, and then the basketball spinning. Changes direction and <laughs> I mean, remember this last time Gary Trent ran into Meg Batur and Gary Trent as well. Two pretty big men. You know, one thing, you, you may not be able to have a, a conversation, obviously, without an interpreter with Meg Batur. One thing that's very clear is he has his little daughter, called him Dinosaur. He is tough. He's a tough guy. The other thing I've liked about being around Meg Batur is you can sense that he's got a good sense of humor. 
public and understand that he's probably a bit of a jokester. Yeah, it's got to be extraordinarily difficult. Great movement there, and Bater hit from behind by Mitchell, and he'll get a couple of calm today for your chance to win great prizes and get the latest updates on events coming to Pepsi Center and the City Lights Pavilion. Sign up for Pepsi Center e-previews, and you're automatically registered to win tickets to all upcoming events. Log on to PepsiCenter.com today. Point your ACL out. He won't be doing that again. Mitchell out of the corner. Knocked down. Three pointer counts. Watch this. This is her. Wiped the Check this out. Ball goes. Now watch his arm come out and his leg. But Bertur would have run right by him. <laughs> no wishes to Lou. He's been under the weather the last couple of months, but he is rapidly getting better. And we can't wait to see Lou. Mike Diamond, our executive producer. Here's Kenny Satterfield. Oh, pretty move by Kenny. Wonder how empty our charter will be back to Denver tonight. A lot of players will head to their respective homes from Minneapolis. Bater at three. Hey, right on the money. Meg Bater. Apparently that 